My name is Maya, I'm a junior at Howard University, and welcome to a very real college week in my life. This is what it's actually like to be a college student. the most unexpected eventful morning. I really was not expecting anything to happen today. And quite frankly, I was expecting this entire week to just kind of be like, meh. For example, the last two days, you saw some of those clips. They just felt very mundane. I didn't have anything to say. I was just, you know, like doing my thing, but they didn't feel like days that needed to really be like documented, I guess. And I kind of felt the same way this morning too. And then this one thing happened and I was like, oh my God, I have to tell you. My friends and I booked our spring break trip. I am on this journey of traveling this year and this is just another trip in the books that I get to prepare for. I love planning trips. I love looking at all of it. I love the like anticipation up into it and then I love being there and getting to like experience new things and I'm just so excited. Just like the rest of my trips, I am not gonna share where I'm going until it's like the day before or I'm actually there just because that's how we do things over here. You should be used to it by now. Not to do too much teasing, but there's a trip coming before that trip, which is, oh my God, it's next week that I go on this trip. I knew it was soon, but I didn't realize it was like that soon. Something else I did this morning as well as just the past couple days, I've been reading my book, Little Women. This is literary gold. It's a classic. I used to coin Little Women as like one of my favorite books, blah, 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 whatever. But upon rereading it, I'm realizing how much it actually is like one of my favorite books. The lessons and like the structure of the book just kind of like flew over my head the first time I read it. And now I'm actually like seeing it. I don't know, it just, it's crazy. And I realized at the end of every chapter, it ends with a monologue of some sort of lesson in life or like something that like, they want the little women to go through their life and remember or just like stuff like that that's important and it sticks with you. And it just, it totally bypassed me this last time. I just had to say that cause like, wow. It's time for me to leave for class and I'm definitely wearing something not normal, not like me. I know like from afar it looks fine, but like up close, my sweatsuit is low-key like, these are my house clothes, okay? I'm just gonna say it. Normally try to dress really cute for class and just not feeling it today. I'm also not feeling like doing makeup. Like I just wanna have a chill day and that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I completed class for the day. I ended up eating some leftover chicken that I had like kind of meal prepped, but not really. I didn't make enough to have like meals for the whole week. And I also didn't like layer it with something else, you know, to make like a full meal. I literally just like cooked some chicken and called it a day. I'm trying to eat healthier and I'm trying to do the whole meal prep situation just cause it's way easier. But I found with meal prep, I almost trade in like feeling satisfied and like really enjoying the food for having something to be so convenient and like, I really love food, like I really do. Like eating is one of like those joys in life. And like, I know people say that all the time, but like, I'm serious. I love eating good food. It's like a meal, it's a treat, I love it. But while I'm trying to be healthy and be sustainable and you know, save time and stuff like that, I just feel like I'm not getting the most out of my meals, which is kind of a bummer. So I feel like I just need to go back to the thinking board and kind of figure out what I can meal prep, what things I'm willing to spend more time to cook. Maybe if I could just find something frozen from Trader Joe's, like I'm trying to stay away from frozen food just because when I really like it, I get in a kick of eating it every single day. And I don't want to do that. Like I really am trying to be healthy. And I know meal prepping is like the easiest solution to that. It's convenient and saves you money. But like, I just don't always love the way it tastes. So I want to figure out that dynamic, but maybe that's going to be like a tomorrow issue because I want to edit a video today. I want to get it completely done. That will make my life so much easier. Also, my arm's getting tired. I need to sit down. Um, I'm going to be editing the single era video, which I really enjoy filming it obviously I don't know yet how it turned out but I'm sure the editing turned out great too three o'clock exactly so this is gonna take me a good bit of time probably the better half of the day but once I finish it I'll be way ahead then I can kind of get ahead and start filming this video I mean editing this video and then I'm gonna be filming some sit-down content this weekend so I think this will make my life a lot easier if I can get this done today so I'm about to put myself into an editing hole get the video done and move on from it which will be fun great and good 
taking a pause on the editing because um, I may or may not have just worked on an intro for over an hour. And by intro, I mean literally the first 30 seconds of the video. And um, it took one hour. <laughs> And it's completely normal, but like for some reason today, it just like hit me extra hard that one hour of my day went into 30 seconds of a video. This is dedication, guys. This is pure dedication. So I'm taking a break and I'm gonna have some yummy kombucha. I tried it on Monday, life-changing. I have to show you it. I'm gonna try to not drink all of it, but it's so hard. This is like, oh my God. I've been looking for this um, passion fruit, lavender, vanilla kombucha forever i had been looking for over like a year to try and find this and i never found it and then i was in whole foods and i found it and i'm so happy and it is so freaking good like i wish i could explain to you how good it is so good cheers everyone So freaking good, oh my god, so good. The intro and like the little creative little editing ideas and like different styles I put in videos, that is truly what keeps me going. Like the idea of coming up with a concept for a video and like having all these different graphics and text and like all this stuff, like that's what keeps me going. Like that's what makes me so excited to be doing YouTube and just like the prospect of creatively like feeling fulfilled. So this video is already up. You might've already seen it by now, but this is what I'm talking about. Cute Instagram posts and hashtag couple goals. And I know it can be a lot, but that's cute Instagram. But I just find it like, wow, like yes, this took me hella time, but like this is entirely what I envisioned in my head for this video and it became that. I also downloaded this cool font that like squishes the letters together. It's kind of trippy, but uh, yeah, here we are, 30 seconds in, and I still have all this to cut down. So let me get back to doing this. I'm gonna cut down all this footage, hopefully upload it, and I really wanted to boast about my great kombucha because this is literally bomb. Yay. I'm getting a good head start on the day. It's like 9 a.m. I've already ate my breakfast, done my makeup, and I'm now just kind of preparing and figuring out what I'm gonna do the rest of the day. I woke up this morning super motivated. I was like, I wanna film a sit down video. I wanna go grocery shopping. I want to go to the gym. I wanna do my homework. I wanna do this, I wanna do that. Like, I just had all this motivation. And then I feel like I quickly forced myself to like snap out of it and remind myself like, but no Maya, it's a Thursday, you have school. Like you don't have endless time to be doing all this, blah, 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 blah. But in reality, I do have time and that is where the birth of this productive Thursday is coming from because I feel like I subconsciously have this mindset that during the week like while I'm in school and have classes I can't do anything else and I mean anything else big like for me filming a sit-down video is like big because it's gonna take me a lot of time or grocery shopping is a little bit big because it takes me away from my space and then I have to come back and put them away and it just like there's like different variables to different things where I've kind of made myself feel like during the week I can't do those extra things Things. And I really think this all stems from growing up like through elementary middle school high school like you're in school from like 8 a.m To 3 o'clock and then right when I got out of school I was doing extracurriculars for probably like two three hours and then I would go to my practice So I used to be a cheerleader and a swimmer. I had work at that time Like I used to babysit I used to be a swim instructor at one point like during the week was just so jammed packed for me Like it would be leave my house at 8 a.m. Don't come back until like 9 o'clock at night So I think I'm still kind of thinking as if like during the week is this like super busy I don't have time to do anything else when that's not the case at all Especially because most of the time I only have one class a day for one hour Like why would I structure the entire rest of the day just around one hour of it? You know like that just doesn't make sense to me. I feel like this is a very good Realization for me very good change for me. I also just received a makeup package Where is it right there that we're gonna go through and I also need to sit down and block out the rest of next week Because I was kind of looking at my schedule and I realized I have like two tests. I have two birthdays next week not my birthday like my best friend delaney it's her 21st birthday on thursday and then our friend jada it's also her birthday on friday so birthdays at the end of the week tests at the beginning of it uh cleaning packing prepping for my trip like next week is just going to be a very stressful hectic week so I kind of want to get ahead as much as I can. So last week, I made this purchase from Sephora. And some of these are repurchases. Some of these are like brand new things that I've... Oh my god. I was trying to like go crisscross applesauce. And my pant got like stuck on the shoe. And it was 
weird okay some of these are new purchases some of these are repurchases I'm not the type to like buy makeup throughout the year just like randomly I normally only get makeup when I absolutely need it and it's very rare that I'm trying a new product I normally just like stick to whatever I know but I'm trying to push myself out my comfort zone a little bit because I know there's so many like amazing products out there that I want to try so the first thing I picked up were these two sponges I want to call them beauty blenders but they're not. I also picked up this Sephora Collection Mascara. I needed a new like base coat mascara. I've been using the Benefit Roller Lash and it works really well, but it's just dried out now. And then the last new thing that I'm trying is this Paula's Choice C15 Super Booster Vitamin C. I've been using vitamin C for maybe like a year now and I actually do really see a difference in my skin. I can't say like one specific brand is better than another, but just in general, I feel like my skin looks more like plump, supple, shiny, like I love vitamin C. And then I got three products that I've actually all tried before these are like all repurchases just because I like them so much. So the first thing is this Super Goop Unseen Sunscreen. And then I also got two of the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. So I got the regular full size bottle and then I also got the travel size bottle. I'm gonna head to Trader Joe's. I have a list in my notes, but I'm also gonna stray off of it a little bit. I intend to do like a full, 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 full stock up, like so full that I'm gonna have to Uber home and probably like lug my groceries to my house because I need a lot of stuff. And I plan to not have to go grocery shopping all next week and then even have like food for after I come back from the trip, you know, just to make my life easier. It'll have to be frozen food, of course, um, but like I'm not too mad at that. Here's everything that I got from Trader Joe's. And I have to say, going 10 o'clock on a Thursday, there was absolutely no one in there. It was so chill, quick, and easy. I was able to like roam through the aisles and I really like found some pretty cool stuff. So I'm not gonna go through every single thing because that seems excessive, but there were some like standout products that I want to try. I got this buffalo style chicken wrap, which I'm really excited for. I love buffalo chicken. I'm probably gonna end up eating this today just because it's fresh. I also got this chicken and four cheese ravioli, which sounds so freaking good. I I want to try these chicken soup dumplings. They're popular on TikTok like maybe around this time last year. I also am going to try this kombucha, the tropical punch. And then the last thing that's like a standout are these dark chocolate mini pretzels. I love dark chocolate and I love pretzels. So that's going to be good. I also need some toilet paper. Everything else are like regular standard Trader Joe's visits. I buy it every single time. So nothing too special, but I am feeling pretty good and confident about everything that I got. So yay. So I changed. This is the Sure, I'm gonna be wearing for the video that I'm gonna film. I have my tripod here, chair here. This is gonna be my little setup, exposing myself, but most of the time I normally will just wear like a cute top and then have my sweats on the bottom. I very rarely have like a full outfit on when I'm recording sit down videos. I'm gonna be doing a tattoo tour. It might be shocking that I have enough to even do a tour because I feel like they're never seen, but I think I have like, it's either 12 or 13. I'm gonna have to sit down and count before I start filming it, but 12 or 13 tattoos and I have stories for each of them and feelings behind them and all this stuff. So I'm gonna film a tattoo tour. These videos are always so fun. Okay, I just finished filming. I have absolutely no time to get onto my virtual class. I'm a couple minutes late for it, but I finished filming. Great, good. I did not think it was gonna take me that long, but I kept having to stop because freaking sirens and ambulances kept coming by. Okay, cool, I'm in my class. I've been editing, I've been cleaning, and we're at the point in the day where my makeup comes off, but I'm leaving it on because I'm doing something kind of random tonight. I, um, I don't know, I just, I did not expect this for this week. I ended up buying tickets like an hour ago. Two YouTubers that I really like, their names are Brooke Michio and Daniel Carolyn. They have a podcast together called Gals on the Go. And they're doing like a live show, but like over, I, it's not Zoom, but it's like a platform like Zoom. It was 10 bucks and I get to log on. And I think they have like a structure to like what they're gonna be talking about, but apparently it's supposed to be like really juicy. And they're gonna like talk about things that don't normally get talked about on like social media or something like that. They've been promoting this for like a month now and I literally never had any interest in it. And then I was listening to their podcast while I was doing my work. And I was like, you know, I think I wanna go to this. I think I wanna do that. So it starts at eight o'clock and it's currently 6.30. So I'm gonna keep my makeup on and just kind of bear it out. It's definitely getting like uncomfortable on my face and I feel like my eyes need eye drops, but obviously if I put them in, my makeup will run. So I'm not gonna do that. I also ordered some Uber Eats. I got chicken parm from DuPont Italian Kitchen. Oh, that smells amazing. 
so good. I know I just went grocery shopping, but this was always in the plan. I was always gonna go order some Italian food tonight. Like literally on Monday, I had this plan because that's when I started craving this. It's been a like chill Thursday. It's been a productive Thursday. Um, there's nothing to do tomorrow either. Actually, tomorrow will be a little bit fun. My close family friend slash just like literally friend in general, her name's Gina. She's gonna be coming to tour Howard tomorrow. So I'm gonna go around campus and like show her everything. So that'll be fun and great. I'm going to eat this and then I'll change and get ready for the live show but I'm looking forward to that I like don't know what to expect but it should be fun I think it'll be fun and we're here we made it to Friday everyone my virtual class literally starts in one minute and I rushed I put some makeup on literally just mascara I wanted to see how the vitamin C serum was sitting on my skin so I could give you a little review as far as the mascara goes I'm not obsessed with it this is with one coat of the new one and then a bunch of coats of the one that I normally use. It looks very similar to how my eyelashes normally look, except I felt like the application of it wasn't the best. I would not recommend the mascara. I'm probably gonna keep using it anyway just because I have it, but it's not like my favorite. And then for the vitamin C, I have to say, I actually see a difference. I promise I'm not just saying this. I'm being very honest right now. My skin feels more glowy. It feels more plump. I only have on a little bit of moisturizer and some sunscreen and the sunscreen I used the same one that I showed you yesterday that one is supposed to mattify your face but my face is like glistening like you can't really see it but like I it's I like it I also have to tell you that I went to the live show it was really fun but it wasn't really exactly what I was expecting like it was cool it was great like I'm glad that I went but I don't think I would do it again I also think this was like their first time doing it so there was of course some like technical difficulties and like mishaps and stuff but like it wasn't as like um I guess like intimate as I thought it was gonna be like the way that it was marketed was kind of like you know like a one-on-one -on -one group FaceTime whatever which like it definitely felt like that but like there was a chat and for the first like 40 minutes of the live show like the chat was never looked at so it wasn't really like we were communicating with them not until like the end did that happen i doubt any of their team is watching this but if you are i would just recommend looking at the live chat earlier in the conversation and kind of doing what you did at the end but like throughout the entire show because i feel like that would have like taken it to the next level let me get into the zoom class i will update you when i'm done with this class but then oh Wait, I literally don't know the link to this. It's saying fail to open. Okay, I figured it out. Just got done with my class for the day and I think Gina's gonna be here in like the next hour or so, so I'll start getting ready in a little bit. But other than taking Gina to campus, I just plan to edit the rest of the day and do nothing. I don't think I'm gonna go out tonight or this weekend, like I really need to dedicate my time to getting these videos done. I know I mentioned this already, but like I have a couple tests next week. I have my friend's birthdays next week. And it's crazy to me that like literally every other week has been so chill, simple, easy. And then the one week that like I need it to be chill, it's the exact opposite of that. Once next week starts and like the ball gets moving, I know I'll be fine. I know it won't be like too, too hard. It's just like the prospect of it and like knowing that this is what's coming. I do plan to vlog next week, so stay tuned for that that will probably be the most stressful college week in my life the most productive one that i will ever have probably like ever but that brings me to the next point that i wanted to bring up i know this week has been very boring like boring by definition i just literally went to class and then i'd come back home and edit do homework whatever this was not a week of like seeing friends and hanging out and trying new places like that's not what this was. And it would have been very easy for me to just not vlog this week and just act like a boring week didn't happen. But I think it's important to show the reality of being in college and like, this is the reality. Yes, the last couple weeks were very fun and I would run into my friends randomly and see them and like all this stuff. But the truth is, once you get to like a certain point in the semester when classes start picking up and you get into your certain routine and schedule and you figure out which classes are hard, which ones are easy, like once all of those things kind of start aligning the semester gets pretty dull like it just it just becomes that people have jobs and internships people have family things to attend to sometimes people will go home randomly like it's just not as simple to be seeing people and like hanging out 24 7 as it is at the beginning of the semester so this was like a very real week this was like an honest and raw one and like just real like this is really what a normal week probably is going to look like for me going forward that was such a good time taking Gina around. I promise you I intended to vlog more. 
I intended to have her talking in the video and everything. Like I intended to do that, but it just didn't happen. We were so deep in conversation and it was just really special seeing Howard through the lens of someone who's never been here before, someone who's never experienced what an HBCU campus is. I have to say, seeing the way she like reacted to being in like such a beautiful space and like somewhere like surrounded by black excellence, it really made me like so grateful and thankful that I chose to come to Howard and that I get to experience this. And honestly, I definitely was taking it for granted a little bit and like not taking it all in and like remembering how lucky I am to be a student at Howard University. So I'm really glad she was able to come. I'm glad she had a great time. The weather was perfect. Thanks so much for watching. This was a very real college week in my life. I promise you, I showed you everything that I did. There was nothing that I did that I didn't show. Like it was a very boring week. Thank you so much for watching. I post videos every Tuesday and Thursday at 3 p.m. Like I mentioned, I have a really fun trip coming up as well as the spring break with my friends and just so much fun is on the way. So stay tuned for everything coming. That tattoo tour will be up on Tuesday at 3 p.m. And I will see you then. So have a great day. Bye.